Banner Children's, we've got pediatric care covered for Arizona families. I was healthy, I was walking every day, working, and um, my OB noticed actually that my cervix um, dropped, so they sent me to a specialist, and that's when they did more ultrasounds um, with high, more high-tech machines, and they noticed that the vascular um, part in my uterus was didn't look right. Sometimes the placenta will grow beyond its normal boundaries and depending upon the depth of that invasion into the thickness of the uterine wall we have what's called placenta accreta when it's just in there a little bit more than it should to something called placenta percreta where the placenta actually grows beyond the uterus and potentially into the bladder and into other organs and blood vessels within the pelvis. It was devastating when I found out I was going to have a very scary delivery. We recommend that the patient be delivered and cared for in a specialized center and that's what we've created um, at Banner Good Samaritan is a center of excellence for the care of patients with presumed placenta accreta. I was in bed, literally bed rest, like I probably got to shower maybe once a week and I just laid back because I just didn't want to trigger any other bleeds. I was trying to hold her in as long as I could, so I literally was in the bed for two months. And the mother is where most of the risk issue exists, and that relates to the main risk of placenta accreta, and that's the risk of torrential hemorrhage at the time of delivery. This is the most challenging thing I've ever been through. I'm 39 years old, so I've never had had surgery before. I'd never been hospitalized, so it was all new to me. We had a good sense that we were achieving better outcomes uh, with the team in place, but we've looked at it objectively and we've actually shown significant improvements in how patients do with this condition now that we've put this team in place at Banner Good Samaritan. Well, every day I look at her as such a blessing just that we're both here. Doctors and, and nurses, everyone was so awesome. Just, they treated me like I was, like the doctors would say, you're like, if you were my daughter, this is where I'd have my daughter. And they definitely did treat me like I was their daughter. And so compassionate and everyone was just happy every day and caring and it was great. I mean, like I said, this became our second home. It was devastating coming here and leaving was devastating. I cried my whole way home because I was sad to leave everyone. We realized that as much as we put into the technical aspects of their care, we really have to be at the bedside uh, frequently, be there often, uh, literally sitting there holding hands and talking about this condition and that of our commitment to excellence uh, for the management of the problem. They might see things that are very scary. We try to reassure them that this is something that uh, we've developed a great team of motivated individuals who want nothing but uh, the very, very best of outcomes. We're committed to that, and that's what we've been achieving uh, in our uh, practice at Banner Good Samaritan.